watching PWI Championship Wrestling. And on this week's edition, you'll see in action the sparkling gym from West Palm Beach, Florida, Diamond Dan, to join us. Also, the return of the Dice Man, Ronnie Vegas. And the debut here in the PWI of the bad breed, Ian Rotten. Playboy Johnny Lee also to join us. And in our feature match, brand new PWI Tag Team Champions of Blackjack Colt and the Bounty Hunter to go up against Sergeant Nelson and the Wrestling Preacher, Big Red. We'll get it all started right after this. Welcome back, fans. This is Dave Yearwood. Got a great show here on PWI's Championship Wrestling today. And as usual, I'll have my co-host, Dallas James, if he ever makes his way in here to the arena tonight. But we got a great show, as I was saying. Looking forward to seeing a lot of great matches. Right there, you're seeing one of the great ones here in the PWI, Diamond Dan. Been a couple weeks since we've seen him, and it uh, looks like he is... Uh, recuperated from some burns hey, that uh give me some directions how to get out of here you're always in a different place let me get sit down here well come on in here dallas we're about to see diamond dan in there against the rock and roll rebel the man from tupelo Ooh. mississippi the rock and roll level rebel there one of the big names down south making his way north here hey, i got my microphone set up here hey there's that clown in the front row hot shot the clown old hot shot he's back again and uh Hot is about the name for everybody here at PWI Championship Wrestling. There you go, taking the arm around on the Rock and Roll Rebel. Dallas, great show today. Fans are going to see some of the big names. We're going to see, well, we'll see the Playboy, Johnny Lee, in action. The Dice Man will be back, Dallas. I understand he is back, looking better than ever, and uh, has something to prove. Here Speaking of things to prove, Dallas, uh, the fans will be taking a look today, I hear, of the new PWI Tag Team Champions. Yes, and uh, there's been a, some there's, changes. There's a lot to be talked about when we talk about the tag team ranks right now. Uh, yeah. Some changes happening here in the PWI. We will get to that. A lot of uh, changes and a surprise. I cannot believe for the life of me who it is, but we're not going to give that away. You're going to hear from Austin and I later we got a lot to talk about. Well, I, I could have bet on that. But right here, we got Diamond Dan. Got a, a, a reverse figure four there, or taking the leg back on the Rock and Roll Rebel. Diamond Dan, as you remember, Dallas uh, had a close facial there by one El Diablo from Mexico with a little, um, well, the, the rage used to be candle cuts for the, the fashion uh, unique. Well, uh, he, he had one towards the face there, but it looks like he's uh, come out rather unscarred from the, the flamethrower of El Diablo. But right there, he's taking one body slam from the Rock and Roll Rebel. Rock and Roll Rebel, up and coming wrestler here at PWI. Oh, flying sod buster there across the chest of Diamond Dan. Well, as you uh, climb back aboard there, we take a look. Nice leg drag there by uh, LD. The splendid Jim caught him. The Diamond Dan there taking him down. Rock and Roll Rebel beat Billy Newton a couple weeks ago, and uh, now he's moving up here taking on Diamond Dan. Diamond Dan, as we know, been tag teaming a lot with uh, Quicksilver, Fire and Ice, but now going the singles route. His, his former partner still live in the TV tournament. That'll be coming up here in a few weeks. Him and Heartthrob. Quicksilver and Heartthrob. Good be, should be a good match. The Heartthrob. That's your favorite, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He, he's one of the all-time favorites here in PWI fan land. No doubt. I Just, like it when he's on because a lot of people call the hotline. <laughs> yeah, I don't care to field those calls too often, though. And count back there as Diamond Dan steps back. And the Rock and Roll Rebel not, not, not rolling too well at the moment. Diamond Dan working the inner thigh there of the Rebel to make a nice takeover by Rock and Roll Rebel. Nice hip toss there. Caught Dan off guard, took him right to the mat. It's a nice new arena we're in here for these matches this week. Fans are lively. We see our, uh, our usual people out here at the PWI events have a lot of new faces. And, of course, there's old Hot Shot. 
maybe he's the PWI mascot. Could be. Another one uh, fans will be interested in seeing is the new name, the big name coming into the PWI, Mr. Ian Rotten will be making his yes. PWI appearance here. Ian Rotten on today's program. Of course, Ian has uh, wrestled for many organizations, probably the most known, uh, where he gained the most notoriety, ECW. And uh, we all know about extreme championship wrestling, and he's going to prove there's a roll-up. We got it. Two? No. Oh. Just two on that, Dallas. Just two. I was say, uh, of course, PWI Pro Wrestling International, there are no boundaries, and with Ian Rotten, that could be severely tested. He is a wild one. Uh, El Diablo testing. The Rock and Roll Rebel there is able to kick out one more time, and now has control. Taking. Come on, referees on the rope. Taking it across the ears of Diamond Dan, raking his eyes across the rope, and the Rebel moving in, could be pounding. Upset. Pounding at the midsection of Diamond Dan. The referee needs to get in there and break him. They're in the corner. He's counting over there. He's been counting for a week. Diamond Dan into the corner. Shoulder block. Another one. I smell an upset. Well, this is a uh, uh, pretty high. <laughs> Pardon me. But this is a caliber wrestler in itself. I don't know that you could rightfully call it an upset. Diamond oh. Dan definitely had, got him on a flip here. Two, three, and we have a pin here. Diamond Dan with a victory over the Rock and Roll Rebel. Well, it was tough. Rock and Roll Rebel had him reeling there towards the end. But Diamond Dan, you know, he always seems to pull that sunset flip out when you think he's going to get defeated and he's had enough. Somewhere he reaches down low and gets that sense of flip. Now the Rock and Roll Rebel's upset with the referee, but that was a good maneuver there by Diamond Dan as we take a look at part of the match here on the replay. Back and forth it went. Diamond Dan there on top early in the match. Then a little bit later you'll see the Rock and Roll Rebel taking it to the Splendid Gym. But as you see, that sunset flip, Dave, got him one more time. And the winner in our opening contest, Diamond Dan. Fans, stay tuned for more and the return of the Dice Man. A man called Titan. But, Titan. But. Titan. Titan. He's facing Titan. a Titan in the wrestling world Titan. before him. Titan. You know, I've heard that somewhere before. Titan. Where have I heard that? Hmm. Titan. Uh, the, the, Maybe that clown would know. There's been a few small organizations that have tried to utilize that name. But anyway. We know the name across the ring for and right there, immediately, the Dice Man. Hey, I told Vegas. you, I've told you, Jump Dice Man says he's ring. got something to prove. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but he says that he is back with a vengeance. Dallas, as you mentioned before, we got early in the matches, early at the beginning of the show, you were talking about how the Dice Man has tuned up. And I well, would say he, he's looking pretty good. He told everyone out there at Las Vegas at the UNLV Center that he was coming back. He was back. He was coming back to the TV tapings, and he was going to prove that the money was definitely in the boot, and he had some unfinished business. And no one is really quite sure what that means, but you can tell he is all business right here. And as you see, outside ringside there is one playboy, Johnny Lee. Not quite looking the dapper self that he normally does. Uh, and maybe the summer heat here is, is uh, kind of got him a little bit laid back on the uh, boutique today. But there he is, the man from Chicago in there making the reversal on the Dice Man, the Titan, showing he's got to, oh, a little too quick, Dallas. You sure that's the not Titan. lightning rod with a haircut? Uh, not quite that size. Oh. And... The Dice Man takes him down with the clothesline. Some words of encouragement and instruction from Johnny oh. Lee and a na neck Reverse breaker. Reverse neck breaker. That could be it. Taking him down. He's hooked the leg, Dallas. That is it. And your winner. And winner Have we even got enough for a replay? Well, I'm out of here anyway. You do hey, the replay. Where are you, where are you going, Dallas? Come back here. Well, fans, right there. As you, uh, as we take a look back here at the Dice Man making his return, his triumphant return here into the ring of the PWI, as you see there in the replay, the Dice Man putting away another victory here in the PWI, 
fans, when we get back, I see now what's coming about. When we get back, we're going to have an interview with Mr. Crow and the James Boys. Well, that's good to hear from Dallas. Boy, you're hearing it there. Revenge is in the heart of Dallas James. And there you hear the fans behind him. And I can't believe he'd even make an entrance into things right now. TJ Powers, you better watch out here. Who could this be? Oh, look, look at this attack from the outside here. The bounty hunter, Bobby Colt, in there, attacking from the blind side. Dallas James Austin, down here, and there you see Superstar shaking the hands of Damian Anderson inside the ring with Colt and the bounty hunter. Taking it to the James boys. Kick it away, Anderson, kick it away on Dallas. Austin, and in, in come Bobo into the ring to come to the aid of Austin, James, and Dallas, who's Austin, who's helped Bobo many times, checking in there and quickly to the outside. Bobby Colt, Bounty Hunter, Anderson, Superstar TJ Powers, and Bobo. Again, stepping to, you're seeing him, the new members of the Four Aces, Superstar TJ Powers, the Bounty Hunter, Bobby Colt, being held back from the James Boys by Bobo Brazil Jr. And it looks like Bobo just may be trying to pay back Austin James for those times he's come to his aid, come to his side many times, and... And as you can see there, Dallas James somewhat staggered, but I'm sure he's <laughs> kind of surprised to look up and see Bobo Brazil Jr. standing above him, keeping TJ Powers, the man behind the injury of the James boys, keeping them at bay. You saw it several times, Austin James coming to the side of Bobo, protecting Bobo from serious injury, and you can see it right there. Dallas James holding on to that disc area and, and Austin James, the ribs and the fans cheering the team of Austin James, Dallas James, who just two weeks ago turned on them and now have paid dearly for it. There you see the surprise. Uh, Dallas is kind of coming too here. He's looking... Dallas picking up the chair. Well, 
Well, he's just throwing it on the outside. Stretching out the hand, shaking there, you see Austin going to the side of Bobo and Dallas James holding up the arms of Bobo Brazil Jr. Hand of thanks from Dallas James to Bobo Brazil Jr. There it is from Dallas James, returning to the side of the PWI fans, going to do it his way, but supporting the fans. Stay tuned for more PWI action here on Championship Wrestling. The Playboy, Johnny Lee. We're looking a little more than a man that's supporting anybody had you been in there. Of course, the glasses. And check out the uh, the bunnies on the side of his tights there. But the playboy, Johnny Lee, entering the ring. But the action you saw there. Dave, Dave you don't mind if I sit back down nope. here, do you? Well, Dallas, uh, you all right? Is back okay there? Yeah, the back. Yeah. Should here. we get you a more uh, no. stupid, uh, Give me a straight back chair or something? Yeah. We'll let it go this time. You know, Johnny Lee got changed awful quick. We just saw him out here a few minutes. Of course, how long was that interview, Ed? We were scheduled uh, yeah. for about a three-minute interview, and them idiots uh, stretched that out a little bit. But thanks to uh, thanks for Bobo to coming out there. Kind of surprised me. Um, well, you but kind I of appreciate surprised it. the fans. You I kind appreciate of surprised it. the fans there, Dallas. And as you heard, they were happy to hear your return to the right side. Well, we we yeah. We made a mistake. I'll be the first one to admit it. We, uh, at the time, we didn't think we made a mistake, but now we can look back and, and see that we was doing things for ourselves and solely for ourselves. Again, I never asked the fans to cheer for me, but they did. That's the thing. They did, and, and we should have looked at that, especially myself. I should have looked at that. Well, he's taking it too, though, the, the Von Blitzkrieg. Von Blitzkrieg there, the big man from Germany, taking a big ham hock across the forehead. And again, Johnny Lee takes him down with the big punch. But the, the thing is, Dave, we, uh, we have come to understand after the shenanigans that was pulled on us in our home state, and that will come back to haunt TJ, um, we should not just do things for ourselves, we should do things for the best. And right now, what's for the best is to clean up these four aces. Yes, I was stupid enough to sell the name four aces to superstar TJ Powers. I trust you. I got bit. All right, you get me one time, shame on you. You get me twice, shame on me. That second time is a long, long, long way back. Right now, as Von Blitzkrieg backs up and takes one to the head of Johnny Lee, raking across the eyes. The playboy working his way back into the corner, trying to catch a quick breath here. And now the big man takes the shoulder into the stomach of Johnny Lee, and the fans are loving it here outside the ring. They love to see Johnny Lee get beat on. Squashing. That away. And he took it to him. The Blitzkrieg into the corner there. What's he supposed to be representing there? The Energizer Bunny? I'm not quite sure there. Uh, nobody portrays here to the fans. But he's going to need to get a little quicker here if he's going to rebound 
from this big man. Big man taking him across the middle rope there. You know, he, he says he's a playboy. He says he's a playboy and got all these beautiful women. Well, how come he drags around that doghouse in the back of his truck? Doghouse in the back of his truck. Well, that's what his dates belong, deserve to be in. Have you seen some of them? I'll, I'll withhold commentary on that and stay with it inside the ring here, Dallas. Come into the arena with a stake and you'd have 400 of them around you. <laughs> but as he takes it to Johnny Lee there, again, taking the fist to the forehead of the playboy, again feeling it. Problem is, though, Johnny Lee's on his feet and, and, and Von Blitzkrieg's not. Blitzkrieg does need to make his way up here. Get that big man down. He's very, very vulnerable. And Johnny Lee knows that as he takes it to it, taking it across the chest of Blitzkrieg. Or across the ears. Now the big man all the way to the mat. Johnny Lee sizing it up. Backs up. Takes a sob buster across the big chest of the big man. No, Johnny Lee could have possibly had him covered there. And again, delivers one more. One, two, and a three count. Johnny Lee well, I gotta has tell you won what. victory here in the PWI. I got to tell you what, Dave, uh, as much as, well, he's managed me. but uh, Now, wait a minute. He's giving some high fives out there to the fans. What's the deal with that? Uh, he may have been. Maybe I think Blitz Creek knocked a few, uh, well, maybe the only one screw he has off the shelf. You know, he's a few fries short of a Happy Meal. Well, here you see the action of Blitzkrieg and Johnny Lee. Johnny Lee, though, I mean, he, he surprises me. Here's a guy that weighs a little over 200 pounds. He could tread water in a garden hose. And the winner. Beating a 400-pounder <laughs> like Blitzkrieg. That just shows that the, the big man didn't take it to him. There you see the, the, he has delivered a good sod buster there. Good form. I think he's been working on that. Maybe the dice man helped him out. Your winner. Playboy Johnny Lee. Fans, stay tuned for more action. Our next match is scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing him to the ring at this time, from Marion, Indiana, weighing in at 179 pounds, Top Rope Troy. Top Rope Troy, Dallas, going in here against a big name. Oh, my. It'll get wild. And his opponent, from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing in at 280 pounds, Ian Ruffin! And rotten here, Dallas James, making it in, the man everybody wants across the country. Well... And he's here nice hair at the PWI. Yes, look at that. But the fans love him. I mean, here, him and his brother are kind of like... A lot of people wanted to see this, I think, between Austin and myself. Look at these fans. This guy is known from ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. I'm not going to sit here and say they don't exist because they do. In the PWI, there are no boundaries, and within those non-boundaries are other wrestling organizations. And we all know that Extreme Championship Wrestling is known to be the wild, should I say, side of wrestling. But this man is loved. He's got a brother, Axel Rotten. Now, we can't say he's... He's so loved, but, uh... Well, we're about to see, for the fans that have yet to see, Ian Rotten, just what this man is made of. He is action personified. Oh, he man. is ready from the get-go, and Top Rope Troy better be ready to have at it today. Where I come from the wild side, he is rotten to the core. Because you've got a big one against you right there. Rotten. With the headlock in there again, it's top rope Troy. Taking the fist to the forehead, Troy down on the canvas immediately. What was that thing he was carrying out here? That looked like a ball bat. What did it have, yeah, what did it have around him? I'm not sure. Look, I mean, you just about think it was carries, a caveman walking out yeah, here the way well, he looks, What Dallas? kind of guy carries a ball bat to the ring? You know, him and uh, we got another guy here in the PWI. Hadn't made his debut, but he's on his way in. Pondo, the madman. Mad they do not get along. All right. What the, is this some form of crucifixion here, Dallas? Not seen this move. I... Well, I, I don't know if that helped my back or hurt my back. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, you might talk to him here after. He may know some tricks to take care of that disc for you. But he's about oh! to take 
take care of the head of Top Rope Troy as it was about to belly snap to belly. go over. Man, you can see the pain that's been dished out as you see the legs flail away there on Top Rope Troy. Get either In Rotten, Flight oh, Zone Buster. That's 280 pounds coming across you. Now look at these crowd. This crowd loves it. You've got it. The man, uh, probably no one would want to be seen with his daughter or sister. You know, he'd make a good... Walking in like that, Wait but the fans do love him. Let me see your phone over there. He'd make a good tag team partner for me. Well, Dallas, let's, uh, let, let's get your back taken care of, and then we'll worry about who you're going to get on your side again. Austin may not like it, but Ian Rotten. Wild and Rotten. Boy, that'd be a good... Oh, never mind. Wild and Rotten. The oh, Rotten side? The Rotten side. That'd be all right. Uh -uh. Uh, what is he... Airplane spin takes him down there. Top rope, Troy. This is kind of like a cat playing with a mouse. Unfortunately, Troy's the bait. Well, he's going to feel like one rotten mound of cheese when this is over. But he's still got something within him. He takes a reversal there. But immediately. Oh! oh mercy. I, I think Troy. Oh, on out my! Troy should have kept rolling right out of there, Dallas. Well, he's got Excedrin number 99. Yeah. I don't think it's going to take much for Rotten to end this match here. Making the debut, Ian Rotten coming to the PWI. Taking Troy. Well, Troy does reverse him here, Rotten off the ropes. Troy able to put a drop kick on him. But it looks like he better, he just stay, he over, better do more than that. Can't overcome the size and the power of this man. And here he is setting him up. Oh, he's felt Ooh, the gourd buster. Man, That's I it. felt it there. That's and it. the three count. That's it. The PWI fans, you've seen it here. Dallas, go through the replay here of this well, man tell you what, way in. The debut of Ian Rotten here on PWI Championship Wrestling, and there wasn't too many highlights. For top rope Troy, one drop kick, as there you see it. But Ian Rotten just taking it to him. Of course, a tremendous difference in weight. They're all not going to be that easy. But Ian Rotten coming in with some heavy credentials here into the PWI. There you see the gourd buster just manhandling top rope Troy. Hondo and your victor here in this matchup, Ian Rotten. Fans, it's feature time, the big match, and it's the big tag team with the title on the line. Man, here, he went out and got him a big partner. One of the biggest men here in the PWI. It's the wrestling preacher, Big Red. Well, I hope that there's new tag team the champions for the 578 two. pounds, P PWI tag team champions, the oh. bounty hunter, and fans about, Colt. about to make their way into the ring is the new PWI Tag Team Champions. Frickin' Frack. Believe this, the team of Black Jack Colt and the Bounty Hunter. Escorted out Two there. Two of my former partners. Escorted out by Damian Anderson. That's right. And a lot has come down here in the PWI in the tag team ranks in the last two weeks, Dallas. Colt took his place. We lost the titles. Austin comes back. These two go at it because you remember Bounty Hunter comes back with this new look and this new manager and this new attitude and puts down Cowboys and him and Colt go at it and, and now they're the champions. Black Jack to Colt. Told about it. I want to know why they're together. I haven't what? figured out why. We, we... Somebody's paid some money somewhere and I got a sneaky suspicion that money well we pretty well know it came from mr powers mr powers is the most likely suspect and this just goes back a short two weeks ago and it goes back to that match in texas where you were injured well you and austin were injured against mr garvin and the bounty hunter exactly they, and, they uh won our match, but they come out and attacked us afterwards in an interview. TJ was out there managing us and then brings them two clowns out there. Uh, 
couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. And then just a few days ago there when we was wrestling at the UNLV Center, uh, we had Nelson and Buster Cherry take our place. You know, we felt that we owed them that since we did to them. And we, we kind of yes, sold you, uh... them We owed them that. And we let them put the, our titles on the line against it was supposed to be uh, Buddy Garvin again, and the bounty hunter Garvin couldn't make it to Las Vegas for some unknown reason. I guess the mule wouldn't get going. But and anyway, a masked man uh, reappears uh, in the PWF. Man, and it turns out to be Blackjack Colt. He wrestled under the mask, come out and wrestled under the mask, and then another masked man, you were there, another masked man aided them in the victory, and that's how Buster Cherry got hurt. And we, we really still are not 100% sure who that masked man is. We got a good idea. Well, I'm sure you'll be uh, Nelson, seeking out here. Nelson got him a partner for, for the day's match. Got him a partner and got a big partner. We could have new champions. The Big Red you're speaking of. The wrestling preacher, man. Let it be known that Austin and I are not upset in any way, shape, or form with uh, Nelson and Cherry losing our titles. Uh, it wasn't, we, we had to defend them. So well, we as it stands. Them, and it wasn't their fault. Uh, something will happen down the road. Mark my words, we're going to get revenge on the four aces, the new four aces. And there's, there's more coming out of the James boys. And we're going to get those belts back. A point well taken, Dallas, that you would not have, <laughs> any reasonable man, man would not have expected you to successfully have defended your titles with the injuries you two had, you and Austin. And rightfully so, you gave the, the belts a chance to be defended by the team of Cherry and Sergeant Nelson there. You see climbing back into the ring. I don't want to mess with uh, I don't even think both of them can do put Big Red down. There's a 450 pound man. There you see Big Red challenging both to test the strength here. The big man, the preacher man. Set him up and take him. Blackjack and the bounty hunter down. The power behind this man. An awesome spectacle here on PWI's Championship Wrestling. Black Jack Colt, not too happy about that. There he is. Big Red setting him up off the ropes. Taking him and a big elbow to the chest of the Black Jack. Staggering back, falling into the corner. Sergeant Nelson, go ahead. Well, we saw what transpired earlier today, and he was very much a part of it, even yeah, though, again, he didn't land a hand on you. Garvin, you're not out of this yet, and we're going to get them titles. I don't care if these guys got them. We're going to get the titles if these guys have them, but we're going to get revenge on Colt. We're going to get revenge on Bounty. We're going to get revenge on Garvin. But top of the list, and we're just like Santa Claus, we're checking it twice, is one of TJ Powers. That sounds like bad partners day because looks like you're lining them up, Dallas. Going down one by one. But there you see Blackjack with Nelson on the side there. Setting him up, looks like, for a suplex here, Dallas. Taking it up and over. Well delivered by the powerful man from Deadwood. In comes the bounty hunter. As you were saying, this man is wanting to change his image and now has changed his outlook, returned to the tag team ranks, and has teamed up against the man he was most recently feuding with. That's what's amazing is for, I mean, these, these guys teamed up on, on a spur of the moment and they look like they've teamed up for years. There definitely are no bound, boundaries here in the PWI. They're, they're really working as a tag team. They're cold they're giving signals. Put him over the ropes, choking. Bounty listens to Damien Anderson out there, not even, as you see, Bounty's not even looking at Damien Anderson. And that's a surprise. Oh, now they're a big man, man. Now we need to get the referee looking here at, on the outside. There go Anderson delivering a blow to the side of the ear of Sergeant Nelson. Blackjack calling for the referee to begin to count. Right. Nelson's up. Now, here we go. Now, what's he doing out here? 
Like I said, we've got an idea who it is. Just look at the way he stands there. Look at the physique. But you never know what he has done. That's the guy. That's the guy responsible for those two up there in the ring winning the titles. Buster Cherry and Nelson had a beat out there in Vegas last week. And that guy right there on the outside, whoever he is, come off that top rope with an elbow with the back of the neck of Buster Cherry. And Buster Cherry is out of wrestling for about a month over that elbow. And here he is again. Well, the team of the Hunter and the Blackjack taking a double clothesline, ripping across the throat of Sergeant Nelson. See, he's just out here messing with Big Red. That's the man they fear. You know why they go to work there? Oh, well, there it is. The hangman's the noose. The, the hangman's noose there. The bounty nut. Hunter taking that neck breaker to greater limits there. A forearm smash to the chin of Sergeant Nelson. Nelson needs needs to make his way over to tag with Big Red here. Well, in there a whole lot to make that tag. Uh, what's I going on here? May have seen what what was delivered from the forearm of that man and the boot. The boot across the forehead of Sergeant Nelson. Bounty Hunter. And a quick reversal by Sergeant Nelson. Look Big Red over here with Damien Anderson. That's exactly what they want. And he's got him, but... Well, there you see. Exactly. Double axe handle across the back of Sergeant Nelson. Wow, the action goes out on the outside. The referee following the action of Big Red and Damien Anderson on the outside. But there you see the Bounty Hunter. The Bounty Hunter covering Sergeant Nelson. Referee Kim Goldsby making his way back into the ring and has counted out Sergeant Nelson. Can't believe it. Last man stands there now. Big Red's all upset. Big Red should have stayed around in the ring and maybe to help Sergeant Nelson. Well, there you see him taking the headbutt to the bounty hunter. Now going after Black Jack Colt. Man, we got to get out of here. This week's about over. Man. Tell him what's up next week. This action keeps going. Well, there you see it going at it right in front of us. But fans, come back with us again next week where you'll see the man, the heartthrob. Big Rig Rollins and Madman Pondo will be making an appearance here in PWI Championship Wrestling. And the TJ Powers, the superstar. Well, you'll see him here. Also, gentleman Johnny Walker. But fans, return with us again next week to the center of the squared circle in the PWI where there are no boundaries. Looks like a bomb exploded.